we are here to do career mode as you know and um, a lot of people are in shock and look you know what at the end of the day I understand why people I got see I've got to be very careful because when I talk about this people will clip it um, because me and DT have had a history you know we had a game of football with each other we fell out very very badly uh, for a long period of time and we fixed those things um, we were never mates that was never the case we we're very very different people but um, we fixed those things and I feel a bit I feel a bit numb about it because when he went off content in the summer I actually got hold of his number and just sent him a message because I thought it was about mental health and said look you know um, you know thoughts are with you I hope you're doing all right now we, we just don't know what we do know is what's come out today and that's that he's looking at prison time for a very very uh, serious crime involving um, a female which was his ex-partner I believe and um, the thing I want to say is that and I, again a lot I'm a content creator I can't sit here and say I'm not going to say something about somebody I know through doing content and everyone else is talking about it. Um, what I would say is that I think it's really sad. I think it brings out the good and the bad in people. I think we live in a society where everybody is waiting to destroy people. Um, you know, I look at what happened with um, Caroline Flack, the presenter of uh, Love Island, who... Um, was also not never found guilty, but she was um, um, charged with um, a domestic incident and got absolutely slaughtered on um, social media and ended up taking her own life. And then after that, people were like, maybe we went too far. I just, I, I'm not judge, jury or anybody like that, but the, there's a victim in this. And the victim in this is the poor woman who was um, subjected to what sounded like a terrifying attack. And I think that is the most important thing, is that there is a victim in this. And that victim um, is the person I feel sorry for the most because it's a traumatic event that that person's been through. And, um, you know, having your life thrown into public, I can't imagine is, is very nice for anybody. So I feel I feel for that person. Um, I don't know them. Um, this incident happened a long time ago, so hopefully, you know that they're, they're they're recovering. And you know, my thoughts go out to that person and their friends and family because it's difficult when your life's being put out in the public and you know you never asked for it. Um, in relation to DT, I am, and people might not agree with this. I'm a firm believer in uh, rehabilitation and second chances. Um, I've seen statements put out there by people who he used to work for saying that they'll have nothing to do with him anymore. That's up to them. That's absolutely up to them. And many people would say that's the right thing to do. But I I think there's good in everybody. And I think that, you know, somebody needs to be there to support that person when the vast majority of people are going to be absolutely um, hell-bent on giving him abuse. Um What's happened is bad, it's very bad, but trust me, a lot of people do it um, and a lot of people do a lot worse and wouldn't get the hate and exposure that that person's going to get. It's going to be very difficult. Um, I hope that that person doesn't end up doing anything silly to themselves because there's always a way back um, and rehabil rehabilitation is going to have to be the way back. Um, it's appalling what we've all seen today. And as I said, there's a victim in this who is the victim. Um, and it's very sad, um, the situation. Um, and it's also very sad to see certain people coming out and using it as an opportunity to sort of kick somebody when they're down. Because I understand the justification that you might not like that person. But, you know, that person's going to pay the price for doing something they shouldn't have done. Why do you want to be associating with doing something bad in sort of kicking them when they're down as well. I just think, you know, this is a, a bad situation with a victim in it. And that's where the thought should be. Um, the person who's done it has got plenty of time to think about what they've done and plenty of time to make decisions about what they're going to do next. And I hope that re rehabilitation is the way forward. Um, but all in all, it's just a very sad situation. Um, I actually had someone DMing me saying, go on, put a tweet out, burying him. do the And I'm like... That to me, 
look, we solved our problems a long time ago. I can't ever say that we were mates because we weren't, but we sorted our problems out a long time ago. And, you know, there's, al there's always good in people. And look, I've seen the worst side of him and I've seen a nice side of him. And I've, I've been around through jobs and my personal life. I've been around a lot of people who are bad people. You know, they do bad things. But it doesn't mean they're 100% bad. I, I don't think I've ever met anybody, fortunately, who's 100% bad. And I think we live in a world where we're sort of being pushed down this road where everything is bad or good. And it's not. The world I know from being on here, on here for, on this planet for decade, it's not. There is good and there is bad. And, and sometimes it merges. And uh, I just feel sorry for the for the victim in the case. And I think the whole situation is very, da uh, uh, very, very sad. And I personally think what you're going to get now is people scrambling to, oh, we didn't know, we, you know, we didn't know anything about it. And, you know, everyone's going to protect themselves. And ultimately, the only person who needs protecting is the victim. I couldn't give a shit about other fan channels or anything like that. It's about the victim in this case. And it's very sad that it has to get played out in public. But ultimately, it's not surprising, is it? So, look, I just find the situation very sad. Um, I certainly won't be doing a video about it. I'm not really going to put any tweets out about it. But on Twitch, where we where we do have little chats and stuff, you know, I, I, I'm more than happy to address it with you lot. And uh, um, I hope there's a way forward for, for 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 firstly for the victim and secondly for him, because ultimately they're the two people who 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 were involved in this. And you know, everyone, I I, I firmly believe everyone does deserve a second chance. But you know, the the, the thoughts have to be with with the person in, who, who was the victim in the case and. Yeah, it's very sad when you see things like this because there's children involved as well. You know, whatever you say about it, there's this kids involved and, you know, they'll be seeing this stuff about their dad and their mum and people don't think about that. They don't think about the kids and, and how they will feel about it.